so in this video now in law uh, we'll try to see how mongodb work so last video we already installed mongodb so you can go and type in a uh, search place mongodb then you will get that mongodb compass that while installation we checked it so this one you will get it you just need to put a connection okay connect so it will get connected here i will maximize it so now two ways is there one with using that ui other way is using that from console line so now i can first i will try to show you here so now first thing i can go and put that so it will show that intelligent as well so we can use that go and you show db so it will show how many dbs are there okay so first thing now how to create that db so create db we need to use use and new db name so suppose if i will go and create a new db a school okay but if you go and try to refresh it nothing it's showing it here okay so now you might be see why it's not coming it there once we created but that region behind in a uh, mongodb only creating a uh, database will not work at least we need to have one collection for that okay so now what we need to do now we need to create one collection so to create collection we need to put db dot okay and you can see it's already showing here so we can go and select that create collections okay now if i will go ahead and i will provide a student okay and if i do that now enter it's showing okay one is now got created now if i go and refresh it you can see now one school is created with db and one student that is called collection is now got created so in this way we can create it now i wanted to drop this db okay so what we can do we can do that drop db sorry db dot okay drop database okay db dot drop database and inside this we need to provide that db name so i will go ahead and drop a school okay so once i will enter you can see one got dropped so now if i go and refresh it you can see now a school is got not displaying it here means it's got dropped so this one is one way how we can create that db now other way to create that db is now we can click on that using ui that will be easy for everyone so now we can click click it here now it's asking for database so i will again provide and it will not get enabled till that point will not provide collection name as we know that it's important so now i will provide one collection as a student so now it's got enable so now we can click on this so now it's allowing us to create that uh, one new database got created and inside that one collection is created so you can see one documents a school dot a student so this one now got created now here you can see that document here we can import data from json csv insert document as well aggregation schema all those things are there that we can try to understand later point of time so now this one is first to basic idea how we can use that a mongodb compass and uh, through command line also how we can do it okay i hope you like this video thank you